Welcome back to Covering My Well in Perlers, today's day 18, and I'm more excited for this day than any other so far. Not only because it took me two whole days to post this, but because the character I'm making is so important to me. Sailor Venus from the Sailor Moon series. Now I've mentioned that I'm a cosplayer in previous videos, and today is no different because I've actually cosplayed Sailor Venus. It's one of my favorite costumes to this day because I actually got to be a part of a photo shoot with some of my cosplay friends, and we even ended up in a magazine. The opportunity and memories are just amazing, and I can never thank them enough for letting me be a part of that. How's that story for an anime all about the power of friendship? Sailor Moon was first published in 1991 as a manga, then almost immediately was adapted into an anime in 1992, only a year later. However, the anime came to a close on February 8, 1997, which is almost exactly six months before I was born. So that photo shoot wasn't actually the first time I ever cosplayed Venus. I actually first cosplayed her when I was 16 years old and trying to impress a boy at an anime convention. You can imagine how that went, one young man expecting another handsome young man to show up, but instead he shows up as a bright and shining Sailor Scout. We ended up dating. Turns out he didn't mind. Sailor Venus was actually the first character to awaken her powers, even before Sailor Moon herself, and has her own manga series called Codename Sailor V, which I do own. And I definitely identified with her more than any other character, which is why I chose to cosplay her. There are a few things I had to do differently for this piece compared to others I've made because of how big it is. Firstly, I'm building and mounting her in sections. Because of how big she is, if I were to make her one giant piece, if the time ever came I had to move, I wouldn't be able to take her with me. Because, at least easily, she wouldn't be able to fit into a car or box. Second, I gave her a construction paper backing. Because of how big I made her, she's quite bendy and fragile, and I don't want anything to happen to her. And I'll be sticking the mounting tape to that paper backing. So if anything goes wrong, it happens to the paper and not the actual build itself. And alas, she is complete. All I gotta do is stick her up, and I'm so proud.